Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to just work out the inverse of this matrix C in terms of K. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, you can compare your solution to mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, just as a brief reminder about working out the inverse of a matrix in general, just got this here that if a matrix is A and it's got the elements A, B, C, D, then the inverse, denoted by A with a minus 1 up here, is 1 divided by the determinant of A, where the determinant of A is A times D minus B times C, and then it's multiplied by the matrix where you switch these two elements round and you just change the sign on the elements B and C. Okay, so that's the method of finding the inverse for this matrix. So we need to get the determinant of the matrix C first of all. So it'll be 2k times k, which is 2k squared, minus 3 times the minus 2, which is minus 6. So you've got minus minus 6, so that's going to be plus 6. That's our determinant, so therefore in a position now to get the inverse of C, which is equal to 1 divided by the determinant, so we've got 1 divided by 2k squared plus 6, and that is multiplied by, well, we switch these two elements around, so we've got k there and 2k down here. That's often called the leading diagonal, and switch the signs on these two elements. So the minus 2 becomes 2, and the 3 becomes minus 3. So there you go. There's your inverse for C.